Elixir, proudly sponsors Smoke to Mate on Saturday. It's May the 4th be with you, yes, and you're watching the SOS show with me, uh, Andy Sutton. I'll be your host for the next hour. Welcome to Vapor Trails TV. Ha! <sighs> it's been another crazy day. It's been another crazy week. My earphones just fallen out. Yeah, I hope we're all well. And uh, if you weren't in the pre-show, you missed some pretty cool music. I'll go say that. Ah, right. Well, we've got a jam-packed show tonight. If, if one of our Skype callers adds me to Skype in the next eh, 15 minutes. And if not, everybody who's in the pre-show knows who it is. Yes, so a busy week. Um, I have been doing lots of swath stuff and um, uh, working during the day. I'm contractually obliged, I'll just say this, I'm contractually obliged at the moment to be working during the day, but when I come home, I do at least three or four hours on the swath, and um, lunch breaks at work as well, I'm swathing, and it has been an incredibly productive day. The snake eating an egg is a little bit um, in the line of sight at the moment, so I'm just gonna move that out of the way. Yes, so, um, okay. First of all, a big update on SWAF is that we have booked a crew and there will be a crew in Brussels. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, there's going to be an EU workshop on the 7th that um, a very few experienced people were invited to in terms of vaping. bit wimpy wasn't it what's that running at 4.6 oh don't say the battery's flat no it's fine so we will be there i won't be personally because the people that we're talking to wanted a crew that speaks their language so we will be covering that in full now if anybody's wondering obviously we don't reach our funding goal until the 20 6th? 26th. Well, let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look. Where's the uh, where's the mouse pointer gone? There it is. Um, uh, e the 26th. Yes, 9.30. That's that's during... during. Let me show you. Yes, so it finishes on the 26th, but a lot of crews um, allow you to book them and then pay them 30 days later. So we're within that. So it started. So I think last week, uh, Monday to Friday, I booked probably five interviews... Uh, with oh there we go it appears it decides to catch up so um, yeah I booked five interviews so they're all falling into place and um, I've got to say the vapor mail was a great help because you know without them hearing about it and hearing from you lot they would probably have just just brushed me under the carpet but thankfully they've all the majority have said yes a couple have said no but not a definite no they're sort of waiting to see what happens which is fair enough but um, I'm keen to get as many interviews set up as I can, really. So that is all good news. It is all good news. And it's happening. And it's happening because of you lot out there raising £15,000. And we have had a few big pledges. And that is fantastic. That's what's really pushed us over, got us, got us to where we are. And it's amazing. And so thank you. Thank you. Yes, so uh, the Brussels crew, yes. Um, I've been getting interesting emails from a lot of people and, you know, there, there's been a couple of interesting situations, which I won't go into now, 
but um, will be have been documented behind the scenes and you will see them shortly. Uh, we also had a crew with Daz at Safer Sigs. Daz at Safer Sigs. Yes. Um, Daz was going to be my Skype guest tonight, but he's probably messaged me on a different social network, and and uh, he's, he's it looks like he's not here, but he might he might join us. You never know, and if he does, we'll be talking to him and find out how it went. But I I, I see in chat that um, Miles Dolphin was there as well, so that's good. And uh, yes, we did have the world's tallest cameraman. We had we sent the lovely Ben. Again, I was working. I sent him a whole list of questions, and uh, we didn't know how much time the MP was going to spend in the store. But um, I chatted with Daz afterwards on, on Skype, and um, it 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 went very well. Now, uh, Ben lives in Bournemouth. There's lots of technical stuff that we've had to do, so we've had to, you know, c convert the footage, get it get it to me on hard drives, and so I'm going to have that Tuesday. I'd be very surprised if something didn't hit YouTube. Sort of Wednesday, I would I would be surprised at myself if I couldn't resist editing it. And from what Ben and from what Daz says, which we were going to be hearing from Daz in person, but you know we won't hold it against him because he's a busy guy, and it's probably sunny and he's having a barbecue. <laughs> um, yes, so that's that's all good. The first shoot happened, and it was good. It was good. So I'm really, really looking forward to, you know, seeing that footage and, and getting that all in and sorted out. Anyway, let's stop looking at that page. And I, what I'm going to do now is I've done my vapor story. The story of being a vapor. Now, foremost, for the viewers of Vapor Trails TV and the people who have been watching my videos on YouTube for the three years that I've been making them, You've got the one story of the, you know, the the, the love of e-cigs, and for me, the the whole Kickstarter thing has really demonstrated that vaping means so much to me because of you guys. You know, you guys are watching this, you're interested. So, and and I've always enjoyed making videos and showing them to people, and this is a this has been the most rewarding thing I've ever done. I just want to say that I do. And I, 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 I don't take the responsibility lightly of SWAF. It's massively important. Anyway, so I've just put together this this little video for you all uh, as a way of saying thank you and, and a way of sort of for me to sort of uh, think about my journey as a vapor in terms of doing videos. So let me play this in. And while this plays in, we'll try and find Daz. If not, we've got another Skype caller. We've got lots of other stuff as well, but um, keep watching, keep watching. So here's the video. Hi, I'm Andy and I'm a smoker. I smoke cigarettes. Now for those who don't know what vaping is, it's uh, it all revolves around this new uh, fantastic invention, which seems to be an electronic cigarette. Now I told my wife about this today and she didn't believe me. Um, I've been using my pen style uh, pass through USB thing today and uh, everything's been going very well. Uh, I haven't touched uh, tobacco in uh, more than two weeks. Apart from the cough in the morning and the health stuff, you know, I do enjoy going outside, rolling a cigarette and having a, a Golden Virginia um, and uh, it's it's a pleasurable experience. So, this these video diaries will be my journey from smoker to vapor, um, if that's using the right terminology. Uh, yesterday, I used a Janty stick, which is also a very good device. But you can tell that in my tone of voice, I prefer the screwdriver. If you have been, thanks for watching. Now, in doing that, you end up with a huge amount of stuff, um, which is no bad thing. Everybody's got to have a hobby. Um, and so I've bought one of these things off, off uh, Amazon. It's, it's got lots of little plastic drawers in it. So over here we've got, uh, we've got 901 Hatties. Now I've only got one in there because one's on the screwdriver and uh, I'm expecting some more to arrive tomorrow. Uh, stuff here for the screwdriver, so uh, a spare battery in there and a charger. In here we've got 901 cartridges, uh, the blank ones, which I've only got one of, but I've ordered 50 of them. Um, so they should be coming tomorrow as well. 901 carts, which are um, empty but clean. 
And here we've got 801 cartridges for Jancy Stick. As you can see, there are quite a lot in there because I've pretty much been exclusively using a screwdriver. Um, in here we've got the, uh, the terrible um, first draft vaping device that I purchased, which is the, uh, the one that looks like the uh, cigarette, which uh, doesn't really work very well at all. And here we've got cleaning stuff, which is some Q-tips and uh, a paper clip. Um, in here we've got refill kit, which is a little hypodermic uh, syringe, which uh, came with some medication for my cat. So now that's being used to refill cartridges and stuff. Over here we've got the Janty stick with a spare battery in there. I've also ordered a whole load of 901 um, pen style batteries, the, uh, the manual batteries. So there it is in all its glory, uh, filled up with juice and ready to go. Now I'm just going to load this into the uh, atomizer and uh, show you how it works. Absolutely amazing. And the flavour from it is fantastic. Um, the the juice, which uh, came well came with my order because I bought some more, um, is the uh, Marlborough. And uh, if you have been, thanks for watching. You know, um, it, it's it's really opened my eyes to the fact that you know you don't have to smoke, you can vape. Hi, Andy here, smoke to vape. Sorry, it's a, it's a different kind of video tonight. It's a very angry video. Um, I found out today through UKVapors.com, the UK forum, that the government in their smoke-free initiative, that's actually what it's called, uh, to achieve their, their goals, they are going to ban any unlicensed use of nicotine. And uh, when I started vaping, this was like a distant concern, you know, this was, this was a mile off. But they've actually put a date on it now, and it's in June 2010. If they do pass this, we will no longer be able to get e-juice in the UK. So after a three hour drive, Finally here, um, ready for York tomorrow morning for the Vape Fest. Really excited about tomorrow, really looking forward to it. Um, this is really the first thing that I've been passionate enough about to uh, drive hundreds of miles across the UK to hang out with some people who believe the same thing I do. And uh, this Vape Fest really does represent quite a lot to to us vapors here in the UK. Um, it's the first and hopefully won't be the last. So it's Saturday, it's the Vape Fest day. It's um, 20 to 11. Um, put me in a room with blackout blinds and I sleep like a log. And look behind me there's another delivery of fresh government policies. What a load of if you, if you want to help, check out the links, and uh, sorry this has been a bit depressing, but um, we're going through a tough time here in the UK, the vapors, so, uh, and, and I'm proud to be a vapor, and I hope to be able to continue to be, that's an awful sentence, but you know what I mean, I, I hope to be a vapor for a long time to come. Special review! from the UK Bay Pass with Smoke to Bay and High Five Stud. Hi and welcome to Vape Fest UK. I'm here now. Hey, We're going to need some rebuilds for this afternoon. It's going to be two juices what's being mixed up personally late by Peter, the decadent what's it called? Decadent Vapors. Thank you, that's what he said. Is that going to go in first or will I? Does it need an interpreter by the way? What? Do you need an interpreter dear boy? No, as long as you speak like that it's fine. Oh that's all right, okay. and how we get on with <laughs> Right, we're here at Vape Fest and uh, we've mixed up some juices and this is Habana Reserve from Decadent Vapors. This isn't. 
No, we'll get to that. All right. So it's. I'm imagining it's going to sort of be a, a tobacco-y, rich cigar flavour. Let's see if it is. Suck it hard, you and suck it hard. <laughs> Well, there we go. Welcome to the very first show. We've got a very exciting show for you. We're uh, bringing you lots of devices. Black. <laughs> I think we're experiencing technical difficulties on our first transmission. Yes, we're experiencing technical difficulties. I, I had very, very mixed results with it on, on the standard 901. Um, I wanted to love it. I really, really wanted to love it because on the, you know, it's a battery we all, all like and, and, you know, if it can get you through a day, great. Good evening, everybody. I am your host, Andy, Smoke to Vape. Welcome to VapeTrails.tv for the SOS show and I will be your host for the next hour. So here I am. I made it. Safe for SIGs. Let's go in and have a look. I have just clicked a button. Well, that means an awful lot to me. Let's go. We have reached our 100th pledge, and we've we're only on day three and we've reached £3,402 and that's because of you, you and you and you. Keep going, keep going and we'll be able to make what you want us to make. So um, here we go. Thank you. The people in the right can make the people in the wrong look very silly. little trip down memory lane for you and for me as well you know I, it's, I, I think I, I said it best when I said in the vape fest video the first vape fest that this was the first thing that I was willing to travel across the UK to 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 do and to you know I, I don't go to the football matches I don't you know I don't do all that sort of stuff it's great if you do but you know it's for me I enjoy doing this sort of stuff making stuff and, do, and doing things and 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 the vape fest was the thing that I felt the most passionate about in a long time and that passion has continued and 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 uh, you know I just want to say thank you really for getting stuck into Kickstarter and for making it happen and you know I, I've wanted to make a documentary for as long as I can remember and making a documentary about vaping is possibly the best thing to be making a documentary about because it's what I'm most passionate about so wasn't that strange looking through all those videos how things have changed you know I haven't I see in chat people have been using 901s and stuff like that for so they're still using 901s I haven't picked up a 901 in a long time I think I screwed one on to uh, my uh, my screwdriver here um, you know I've only got two of these batteries and then the original ones that I bought with the kit um, I know you know Prof Beard probably still is puffing on in one right now um, but you know how things have changed how things have changed I also noticed Daz was in that video quite a lot as well wasn't he mmm look like he's gonna be on the show though sadly mm. so while that VT played out I rushed downstairs I went into the car and I got I got something to talk about but we'll talk about that in a minute um, let me just have a look at the uh, 
Uh, uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's go to the ad break. Let's gather our thoughts and then come back and talk about probably MPs getting some more email. Bye. iVapor and iVapor Elixir proudly sponsors Smoke to Vape on Saturday. Yes, welcome back. The message from our sponsors. And, you know, thanks to those sponsors, we're able to bring you these shows. So I'd like to say thank you to all our sponsors. That's brilliant. And I'd also like to say a thank you to Siggy from uh, Cardiff. Um, you'll look on our Facebook page, on the Swath page, and you'll see they pledged a massive £3,700 to uh, the Kickstarter campaign. So they went for the perk that I, me, Andy, has to go to their... It could be a person, but this happens to be a premises. I, I, I'm going to be doing a live show at some point after the uh, the the Kickstarter has finished. I will be doing a live show from their from their Cardiff office if they've got the right broadband and stuff, or we'll do a pre-record or something. Something will happen. I'm working in Cardiff at the moment as well, so you might see a bit of Siggy coming up maybe in a couple of weeks' time. Um, if you weren't in the pre-show as well, you'll remember I was saying that I won't be here live next week, but I'm hoping to put a pre-record together, so uh, I will be pre-recorded, but it's my cousin's 40th birthday, so I figured I should be there. But I will be vaping and um, spreading the message. <laughs> If you go, if Sav would like to post the link into the chat now, that would be brilliant. Uh, it is now officially live. Vapor Mail 2. Six links to the emails that we know and we have been sending, we've been getting responses from, and it's been brilliant. Uh, what we have there is a transcription of Mr. Dawn's fabulous video that outlines everything that's going on in the EU and why is it, why, why is it wrong from a vapor's point of view and because we're not present at the meeting at the 7th at the workshop at the EU the camera crew by the way aren't allowed in but they're allowed outside and the people who come outside are allowed to comment so they will be doing that but if we could get this message that Dave very eloquently said on the video but if they didn't watch it as a video they, they're gonna read it and they're gonna have to reply so take that text click the links and you know, by all means, add add your name at the top and add at the bottom. But, you know, again, spread the love. Do it over the next couple of days. So there we go. There's the next one. And uh, I won't read it all through because we've probably watched the video. But if you haven't, I recommend you do. It's on YouTube. It's on the Vapor Trails TV um, YouTube account. So please do check it out. It's well worth a watch, definitely. And it's well worth a read as well. 
some very good points in there, some very, very good points. So let's move on now to something that I hadn't planned to cover, but it, it, it was something that happened to me during my vaping day. And uh, let me just play this in and then we'll come straight to it after this very short break. Um, let me go to let me go to this. Uh, that's not it. This is it. This is the vape only mini BCC. I talked about this last week, and I've been puffing away on it. And it's probably the third tank I've put through it. But I did switch it, and I put that. I put that in my car, and put it in the. The little cubby hole in the car door, you know, the bit that you put your hand in to close it, and it, it, oh, and it leaked. It leaked an awful lot, and I think it was because the car got quite warm because it, it, the sun has been shining in Bristol. It's been absolutely amazing. It's been amazing, and it got quite warm, but it did, it did, nearly empty the contents through I think the mouthpiece and it, it did leak quite a bit so I'm just gonna get some tissue paper now normally when things leak and I don't like things that leak because obviously when you've got kids around you don't need liquid nicotine places and it's um it, it probably emptied half the tank now whether that's a pressure thing and I remember Dave Kitson talking about taking one of the uh, sort of tank on a plane tanks on planes and um, I think probably the same thing has occurred uh, yeah so I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load this on here this has got 24 milligram uh, hazelnut cappuccino and I expect it to be very gurgly and probably not producing a lot of vapor Hmm, that's surprising because I don't know about you, but it's norm when it's flooded, it doesn't normally produce clouds. But that is actually the flavours there. But it did leak. So uh, spending some more time with this, I would say if you're going to use one, it's probably best to keep it upright, unfortunately. And I don't remember having any leaking issues with the big brother of this, um, which is just here which is sitting atop my bargain mod here and uh, let's see how this one's faring now I reported last week that the drawer had tightened up and nothing has changed with that gosh you have to suck quite hard on that to get anything out of it so, the small one, leaky if you leave it in a hot car. The big one, the drawer tightens up. Unfortunately, it's not passing my test, really. But, but, but you know, good flavour of production. The small one, the drawer hasn't tightened up, but it leaked. Um, I am going to spend some more time with this, and uh, if a Skype call drops out next week, I will <laughs> no doubt be talking about it again. So, um, yes, let's put something else on there. Uh, what else? Where, where did that go? Um, I've also been using the the, uh, the the baby octopus, the mini baby octopus, and I've got to say, I've got to manage to get a drip tip in it. Yay! So they do take drip tips because if you last week I, I thought that it only was uh, the 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 metal bit was the drip tip of it, so it was like you know drip it into the top, use it as a drip tip, but it got really really hot and and. You know, not burning because you go ah. You know, it didn't blister or anything. Um, but I got lots of messages after the show saying you can put a drip tip in there. This is the only one that I can find that goes in it, and I've got many drip tips, and I can't get it out now. So I think some of them, I think some of them have got wider apertures at the top. In terms of the 
having spent a week with this and it's been on my desk and it's been sitting atop my lava tube and it's running at 4.6 volts and using 36 milligrams RY6 from Safer Sigs. Still not on Skype. Um, I've got to say, the vapor production and the flavor, considering considering that this had watermelon in it not long ago, great switcher as well. Mm. Original coil from last week. Been using it all week. Sort of bedded in now. Really getting that sort of slightly sweet licorice type flavour. I see what Dave Dawn was saying when he talked about that the first time that we talked about it. Absolutely great stuff. So the Baby Octopus, really good. I, I've got lots of things that I've ordered over the weekend. Not lots, but, you know, vapor mail that will be arriving next week. So hopefully that'll arrive sort of midweek and then I'll be able to talk about that um, and do a pre-record during the week. And then someone else, very kind soul, will play it out for me. So you can you can have a show from me next Saturday. Also, next Saturday, Saturday show, we'll probably have some footage from the MP visit. Brilliant. That's safe for six. Who's... I'm still not here. <clears throat> right. I have got some beer. Let's open the beer. Let's get it in shot and then open the beer. One, two, three, four. That one. Yeah. Uh, it's Spitfire. Uh, I haven't tried this before, but um, it, so it sounds nice. And uh, let's find a bottle opener, shall we? Yay. You don't get TV like this on BBC One, do you? People opening beer live. Beer opening live. Right, this is um, Premium Spitfire Kentish Ale. Shepherd Neem. Since 1698. Good year. And it's the bottle of Britain. And that's why I got it, because I think it signifies what we're, we're going through at the moment. Oh, that is nice. That is lovely. Crisp, hoppy, very nice. Mm. So once again, I'll say it again, just in case any MEPs are watching, or MPs, or anybody who doesn't think that alcohol... An adults mix and nicotine. We're adults. Let us drink and enjoy flavours. We enjoy flavours. I'm enjoying the flavour of this beer. Yeah. <sighs> Lovely stuff. And it goes very nice with RY6. I find most things go nicely with RY6. So, what have I got to do next? What I'm going to do is play this in. And uh, I also want to say the SWAF campaign, the videos are still coming in. And I want to thank everybody who's submitting a video. They will be added to another video. Um, your story is important to the SWAF campaign, as important as the crew days that we're sending out all around the country and now all around the world. Your stories are just as important. And I'd like to thank everybody that sent them in. Some very moving accounts of why they are a vapor and what it means to them and why they don't want it to go away. So please, if you haven't done one already, please do so. I'll play in this little video now. And if you've got a moment, it doesn't have to be long, a couple of minutes. Just, just uh, sit in front of your webcam and pour your heart out. Here you go.
Hello everybody. Hi. Um, some comments about the microphone. <laughs> and there it is. It's a blue, blue snowball. Um, yeah, sorry, it's a bit in shot. Um, there it is. But you know, I quite like it. I can, you know, talk to you personally. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my uh, second ad break a little bit early and then we're going to have a Skype chat with somebody. Let's just check. Yeah, we're going to have a Skype chat with somebody that isn't from Safer Sigs, but we're going to be equally entertaining. And uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you for bearing with me on the night that things have gone a little bit awry. But um, as ever, it's a pleasure to hang out with you all. And uh, see you after the break. iVapor and iVapor Elixir proudly sponsors Smoke to Vape on Saturday. Welcome back to the big show. Yes, I have a Skype caller. Speak, Skype caller. Speak. Hello. <laughs> this is I and my little friend. I've got a little oh, friend with me. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh no. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Marco, how are you? Thank you for coming on this um, evening. I'm good. I'm good. If not hot, it's hot in here with my lights on. It's hot here as well, but mm. for, for more technical reasons than um, anything else, really. Um, behind the scenes, it's all, all going a little bit pear-shaped, but it's all right now. It's all right now. Good. It's good. It's good. So, how how are you this this Saturday, sir? Well, I've had a pretty pain in the backside Saturday today, really. Yes, took my car to get my hands free fitted, and the guy took uh, three and a half hours and still didn't manage it, and managed to damage my fascia in the process oh no <laughs> what what um oh <laughs> are, are you what are you gonna where was don't make well you can mention no where, i'm not go going watch to mention dog where on. it was i'm not going to mention where it was and does it and rhyme with it, ralphards <laughs> it made it <laughs> <laughs> uh yes it was interesting so um, i'm going to do it myself tomorrow <laughs> brilliant but surely they're going to give you some sort of comeback on it aren't they Yes, I'm going to get the part that is damaged replaced. Good, good, good. Good. Excellent. Um, I just want to say to chat oh, yes. who are hanging in with us um, that uh, if there's a problem with the links, I'll be looking at it after the show and we'll put it all right and then uh, we'll let you know when they're all up and running. But I think there's a little problem with the email links. Uh, the sort of day I've had, I hurriedly put it together and uh, there might be something wrong. But some some are reporting that it's fine. Some are reporting that it's it's uh, some something's not quite right. But there we are. So, Marco, what's your what's your take on uh, Tuesday on the seventh with the fact that there's an e-cig workshop, and the only vapors there are are you know there are only two people who vape. Yes. Mm, it, the Germans. Yes. Yeah. Why do you think that is? What yeah. do you think is going on? I think it 
It's probably been organised very quickly, which obviously was, mm. um, because we saw the bit with Linda McCabe when she was uh, having the other meeting uh, last month, wasn't it? Um, so very hurriedly put together, but um, something tells me that they didn't appreciate just how much of, of a pain in the ass we were going to be, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. But do you think? Do you think, in terms of how much of a pain in the ass we're being, that's got to that's got to sort of come into their consciousness, hasn't it? That's got to affect what their decision is. Yes, absolutely, and it should. And we should have had some sort of English representation there of vapors, um, but it is not to be. So we can only do the next best thing, which is. Badger the hell out of them. Well, exactly, exactly, and and uh, it was incredibly difficult as well. I mean, I tried for for a, a good couple of hours, and everywhere I turned, it was a, a dead end because the the amount of um, the, the amount of hoops you've got to jump through to get a press accreditation to get in that room, or even in the building, is 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 absolutely astounding, you know. And I realise it's a government office. But um, did you see the the YouTube video um, of the, the the conversation that happened in New York recently? A bunch of vapors were talking to a panel of people, and and you could see that they were talking to them passionately about this uh, the FDA, and because they were seeing and hearing the people's stories, they were they were they were coming around. I haven't seen that clip. No. I'm oh no no no! Go go on to go on to the SWAF. Um, it's in other places as well. Other other websites are available. But if you go on to the SWAF off SWAF Facebook page, it's it's on there and it's a link that you can click on. It's about forty five minutes, but it's it's a very very enlightening watch in terms of being able to put your story out there and it actually p change people's opinions of what what these devices are. I mean, they actually thought they looked, they all looked like that. I can't actually see. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, have, I, haven't it, got the, I haven't got the show going at the same time. Right, right, right. Like good. Terrible, very, very good. Very good. It's uh, it's a disposable Nikolites that I'm holding up to camera. Oh, okay. I believe you've got a lookalikey in your hand there as well. I have. Look at that. So what's okay. that? It's a little five ten lookalikey with an Argo T on top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just mucking around earlier. Found a little PCC, uh, and um. That li this little one, there, look, that one, and um, had that in it. So I thought, yeah, why not? Nice, nice, yeah. good yeah. stuff. Mm. So, um, in terms of uh, what you're using at the moment, yeah, is that is that your all day vape? This particular one, um, I was using last week actually. It's a one that Callum sent me, a coffee one. Um, that's in Margate, which is normally. The stand it doesn't stand up very well though. It's no. normally on the <laughs> It's normally on the Evic, um, the RGT, which works quite well. And then I've been using the MT3 on the uh, MVP. Uh, and this is a um, RSVP. Yes, um, I can't remember what this in here actually. Uh, Vermilion River type juice, I think. And remind remind me what what nicotine strength do you vape most of the time? Mm, 75 80 percent of the time 24 um, right 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 and sometimes 18 uh, and if i go around mr dawn's house he puts 36 in <laughs> <laughs> so so if if the eu got their way and this this crazy uh you know four milligram limit came in yeah. what what would you be forced to do well i've got two liters of this which is 75 <laughs> so I mix most of my own anyway. Um, I kind of mix probably 70% of what I vape and the other 30% I buy. Um, but I will go 100% mix my own. And and when that runs out, then what's the plan then? I mean, let, let me just say what I'm probably going to have to... If it, if it happens, if the craziness happens, which, which based on all the stuff that we've been reading that Dave's been covering on his show, it doesn't... It looks like there's light at the end of the tunnel, but thinking about the what the re, you know why we have to keep going on is because you know i i don't want to stop vaping obviously and mm -hmm. I, I i i would try and import my stuff from china you know and if that door closes 
then I'd probably be back to growing tobacco in my greenhouse and I'd be using the iolite, you know. Yes. Um, ah. Well, we're, jo we're joined by Crichton at the moment from Red Dwarf. Um, let's take you voice only, shall we? Um, what would you do then if, if all the doors closed? Obviously, if, if it went the wrong way, mm. um, which we are pretty damn sure hoping it's not going to, but yes. if it did, there would be some sort of transition period. And during that transition period, I'd be buying it in five litre bottles. Right. Um, so I would get five, ten litres of 75, which will make 15 to 30 litres, litres. Yes, <laughs> of, yes. Of 24. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and that would keep me going for a hell of a long time. Yes. Now, but if I was going to be playing devil's advocate and if I was going to be putting a an argument against people doing that to put it towards the EU, I would say that you are then storing an awful lot of what is, you know, a, a, a nicotine containing product, probably in your freezer. Mm -hmm. So, again, I would... It would make sense that we can buy it in smaller quantities, in higher nicotine strength, and be able to responsibly look after it ourselves. Absolutely. Yeah. I yeah. mean, at the end of the day, um, when we smoked, yeah. we were able to go down to the shops and buy a sleeve of 200. Yeah. Or when we went to Lanzarote or across to Europe, or if we took a car across to Calais, yeah. we could fill up the car with as many fags as we wanted. Yeah, yeah. Um, which, you know, we know are far worse yes. for us than vaping. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So it, the whole argument, it, it, it's, it, well, it's a moot point, isn't it, really? Absolutely, completely, completely. No, it's, it, it's every way you look at it, their argument is flawed. Every way. I mean, the other thing that I'm planning to do for the documentary and for, you know, I, I've seen YouTube videos of, of people distilling nicotine from tobacco. Have yeah, you seen it's very that? It's very dangerous doing that. There's so many things that can go wrong with distilling it from the actual leaves, which is why it's better for the professionals to do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But there are YouTube videos of people out there who are trying it, who are no doubt trying it because... They are concerned that this is going to be taken away from them. And I am I am going to safely go through those steps as safely as I can. Mm -hmm. You know, and just to illustrate that it, it is possible to do it, but there is a massive danger of doing that as well. You know, and, and, and those are the options for people in terms of, you know, you can either grow tobacco, which I did a couple of years ago, and, and stick it in an aisle you know, quite quite a long turnaround from seed to plant, but you know, or you can buy tobacco. And let's face it, tobacco is always going to be available. Yeah, because yeah. you can, you know, you can grow it and uh, cure it in your uh, in a nice airy uh, shed. Yes. Um, yeah. And I looked at I looked at um, growing my own and and making my own rolling tobacco at one point because up to a certain kiloage, um, mm. you can, you can do that without any uh, any duty. Um, and obviously, I don't advocate doing anything and, and trying to circumnavigate uh, customs and excise or duty, uh, for sure. Um, but uh, it's like making your own biodiesel. Yes. Uh, you know the 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 whole the whole idea sounds really good until you actually look into how bloody dangerous it is. Absolutely. No, it is. I mean, you know, there, there, oh, the the YouTube videos that I've watched online have always come with a pretty hefty uh, warning in terms of, you know, this is very, very dangerous. Do not do this at home. But obviously, you're, you know, as a vapor, I'm reading between the lines there a little bit, you know, and that is the position they're putting us in. And it's sad. It is sad. Yeah. But looking on brighter notes, have you got any exciting vape mail coming up? Have I got any exciting? What do you mean? Deliveries coming in? Yes. Anything? Any? No. Any, any, no. <laughs> no. I've got nothing coming in. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Um, I I have got nothing coming in the post. I was um, contemplating actually. I was looking yesterday on uh, on Dazzy's site, but as he's as he didn't turn up tonight, I'm not sure if I should buy him. <laughs> no, I'm sure he's got a very 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 good reason. I'm sure he has. 
uh, no, I was looking at getting an EVOD uh, and, and uh, seeing what they're like. Yes, yes. Um, and, uh, yes. Yeah, I, I'm. I, I've been. I've had to send mine mine away. So um, I, I'm. I'm mourning the loss of it at the moment. Hmm. Mm. That is not good. That is not good. No. No. And and seeing your screwdriver, I might dig my screwdriver out because um, I've got the Mark II. Well, uh, well, that that leads me on to something else. What what did what was your first device? My first device was a Reva nine oh one. Right. Little, little tanky kit from Liberty Flights. Right. Um. I mean, this is well, well documented uh, in my various videos. Um, I then purchased the week after a, a V1 lava tube. Yes. Um, with a couple of batteries and a charger, which is still going strong. Sure. All of them are still going strong. My chair's deflating. Um, Hold on. <laughs> okay. I need to get a new chair. I do need to get a new chair. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I moved on. I got uh, I got a, a screwdriver Mark II uh, and a little tech stick, you know, a little Yanti stick. Yes, yes. Uh, I've still got that as well, a little rubberized doofer. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. That was the, the the Janty stick was my first device after that uh, very disappointing Sigalike like I got when I first switched. Mm. Yes, and I've still got that. That still that still works. So if your second device was a a, a, a lava tube, when did when how long have you been vaping now? I started on the 18th of February. 2012. Oh, okay. That was when I last smoked, um, and I'd got the the Reva kit on the Wednesday. Yes. Um, and I started. I did light one up on the Sunday after I started vaping, just to see. Um, I didn't like it, and I've still got three roll-ups in a little tin that yeah. I rolled that week. And, yeah. And uh, I've still got them. <laughs> Well, funnily, funnily enough, I got a, um, I put another one of those uh, CE3 Carto inserts for tanks, you know, that I, that I Vapor kindly sent me. Mm. And I, I put another one of those in and I couldn't get it off the device because I'd screwed it a bit too tight. And um, I, I got a pair of pliers out of the drawer in the kitchen and I found my rolling tin. And uh, it's amazing. I, I You know, it, it had tobacco in there, which was as the, probably the driest thing known to man. It had turned into like little crispy, uh, you, know, you know, dust, basically. But I had no, uh, it had no uh, effect on me whatsoever. I didn't think, oh, that's a nice smell. Or, you know, I didn't think, well, I'll just, uh, I'll just give it a go. Um, so it really has shifted my, you know, I now associate the craving feelings I get with, with vaping and it's astounding isn't it yeah i mean obviously you shift your your usage from from the uh the burning to the vaping yes um but i actually think that my cravings are less oh no me uh, too absolutely yes yeah. completely completely yeah. i just i just must mention i just saw a thing in chat there my yes. mvp um yes. yes i made a wrap for my mvp with some um sticky back kind of 3d etched um, stick about plastic that I got off uh, the auction site, um, and it, it does that? it rhyme with Shmeebe? Shmeebe, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was Zola that mentioned that. I'm just looking in chat there. All oh, right, cool. Uh, okay. Yes. So okay. I made myself a little template and cut it out and stuck it on. Well, let me let me, as as uh, we're being a little bit te technologically um, confounded here. Let me uh, let's hang out with chat for a bit and uh, see how things are going in there. Um, again. It seems to be on a go slow this end as well. But um, I, I thank you for joining me. We're not saying goodbye yet, but I, I do thank you. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> <laughs> and this was always going to be the plan, wasn't it? We were always going to have a chat at the end. But but yes. sadly, it's had to be, you know, it's it's a little bit longer than we expected. But we thank, well, uh, thank chap for hanging out with us. And uh, yes. So if... if um, if you were in a room with an MEP or MP, yes, what would be your first question? I would like to ask them a if they smoked. Yes. If they didn't smoke, were they an ex-smoker? Yes. Uh, and do they have any relatives that have died of smoking-related illnesses? That is literally the killer question. Yes. 
And I'm still waiting. I requested a meeting with uh, Linda McCabin and I'm waiting for a reply. Yes, quite tricky to get a reply from that office. I have found two. <laughs> mm, well, it's 15 <laughs> minutes from my house. Yes, so yes. So I might just go and sit outside. Well, if you happen to have a camcorder with you, um, <laughs> I can only implore you to uh, turn it on <laughs> Uh, when you go in, <laughs> I've always got a camera with me. If it's my iPhone or good my lad, good camera. lad, good lad, good <laughs> lad. Right, okay, we are ap- actually running nearly to the end of this hour. I apologise to everybody about the te- technological difficulties. The internet's obviously on a bit of a go slow tonight. And uh, yeah, it's been great talking with you, Marco. And uh, what what have you got coming up on your big show on Tuesday? <laughs> uh, yeah. Tune in on Tuesday and find yeah. out. Oh, you big tease, you. <laughs> You're a tease. <laughs> I must just say, I've had a really busy work a, a week at work this week, so uh, I'll be doing my stuff for my show probably Monday. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been lovely to to hear you for the last section, and and thank you for spending the time that you have with with us on uh, on the SOS show. A pleasure as always, Mister Sutton. No problem. Thank you very much. I'm going to hang up now and then wrap okay. it up. Otherwise, I'll get shouted at by Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Right. Well. Yes, a, a, a let's say an enjoyable but a challenging technical exercise tonight. Mm. Once again, my great thanks go to chat and uh, thanks for hanging out with me for an hour. It's been a great pleasure and thank you so much for all your pledges to the Kickstarter. Um, it's well and truly in action and we would have heard and I'm no doubt we will I'm sure Daz has got a very good excuse for not hanging out with us tonight but I'd like to thank you all for hanging out with me and uh, may the fourth be with you I vapor and I vapor elixir Proudly sponsors Smoke to Vape on Saturday. Saturday.